Downtown Flint was packed with people yesterday. And of course, the, the biggest event that was happening in, in Flint yesterday was Flint Pride. Uh, Court Street United Methodist Church had, as we have for the last several years, had a table at Flint Pride. Uh, I want to thank uh, in worship today all of the people who made that table happen. Uh, the many Court Streeters who came and took a shift for a couple hours or even longer, uh, welcoming people, uh, uh, giving people a different, uh, a different voice from God than the one they heard from protesters on the road. We've all sinned, all of us fall short. That's why we need a savior. That's why Jesus had to come to the earth to die for us. And he says, repent. Turn from your sins and seek the truth. Into, uh, into the event. Thank you, Court Street United Methodist Church, for being the, the kind of church where, where uh, we understand that sometimes honor your mother and father means honor your mother and father, and sometimes it means honor your mothers, and sometimes it means honor your fathers. Thank you for being that big-hearted church. Uh, Flint needed that kind of church yesterday. Uh, along with those prayers of thanksgiving and celebration, I'm gonna be praying for, for people who may have been wounded or hurt or traumatized in the name of Jesus yesterday. <laughs> There were protesters out the event. There were people with megaphones who were, were speaking words of hate and condemnation and judgment. Do life, do the gift of God, which is everlasting life. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, and, and a lot of people going into Flint Pride yesterday will have been able to just ignore those voices and tune them out. Uh, but for some people, for some people yesterday, those, those voices will have opened, opened old wounds uh, and maybe opened fresh wounds. Uh, and so today I'm going to pray for, for healing uh, and for God's love uh, to, to uh, fill and surround people who are, are still, uh, still have those words and voices lingering in their minds and their hearts today. I'm also going to spend a little time today praying for those protesters. I hope that at some point they, they meet the Jesus we know here at Court Street United Methodist Church. I hope at some point they discover, uh, discover the truth behind the words of the Apostle John who wrote that God is love. And I hope that they discover the truth behind the words of the Apostle Paul who wrote that there is no law against love. I hope at some point God's love opens their hearts in a new and unexpected way and they can find themselves celebrating inside the event instead of protesting outside of it. We pray, Father, for these people here. We pray, Father, that you can lift them up. We pray, Father, you can pull on their heartstrings. Father, we pray that you can pull this, the, take away the scales from their eyes and ears to see the truth, Father. We pray for these people, Father, in Flint. We pray, Father, that you're with them. We pray that you can pull on their heartstrings and, and turn them, help them repent, turn from their sins, Father. We, we pray for these people. We pray for the city of Flint, Father. We pray for us as well, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray you're with us. We pray for your protection. We pray, Father, you can lift us up. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.